Hi there! Nature is so mysterious and unpredictable that mankind still cannot get used to its antics. Once, a simple farmer accidentally made a phenomenal discovery. He drilled a well to extract water, but what burst to the surface was noticed by the whole world. In the early 1900s of the last century, an American farmer in Nevada was trying to establish his own agriculture. Therefore, he decided that it was necessary to dig a well, which would provide water for irrigation for his land. The man began to dig a well right in the middle of the desert, and when he got to the groundwater, he was in for an unpleasant surprise. The water deposits he came across were very hot. The temperatures reached 390 degrees Fahrenheit, which is truly unbelievable, but he couldn't dig further. The next attempt to get water from his ranch took place in 1964. At this time, new technologies appeared in this area, so ranchers were determined to succeed. Unfortunately, their hopes were not realized. The water temperature was still too high, and drilling with special equipment was impossible. But despite the failure of the mission to extract water for irrigation, a truly unique discovery took place. After all, the resulting geyser was very unusual, and not just because of its temperature, but also the fact that real mountains began to grow around it, and their color and size are simply amazing. And it was like magic and the landscape resembled farms from a fairy tale movie. As the natural phenomenon increased, people began to notice that the geyser had its own ecosystem. Fish and birds began to breed, which made this discovery even more mysterious. But how is this even possible? And what is this miracle? It turns out that this phenomenon has a scientific explanation. Today, this phenomenon is called Fly Geyser. Its exact location is Black Rock Desert, Nevada. An amazing creation was created thanks to the tandem of man and nature. According to scientists, during drilling attempts, a layer of ancient underground geothermal waters was affected. Many years later, it began to manifest itself in the form of boiling water emissions on the surface of the Earth. Due to the rich mineral composition of the water, an unusual landscape is formed. Dissolved salts of calcium carbonate, when they hit the ground, froze in the form of bizarre growths, and thus, three hills appeared, on top of which water and steam flow like a fountain. Today, the height of the geyser is 10 feet, and it continues to grow both up and in breadth. So, experts are sure that the source will increase in the next decade, until the flow of water runs out. At the same time, the cone-shaped figures have a simply amazing color. This color scheme is created thanks to microorganisms living in the water. Cyanobacteria and blue-green algae give the area emerald, green, red, burgundy, and yellowish hues. Due to this, the desert landscape was transformed beyond recognition. A fabulous oasis inhabited by fish and birds, which adds even more beauty to the place. For a long time, Fly Geyser was not well known to anyone since it was located on the territory of private estates. However, in 2016, the owner sold the land to the creators of the Burning Man Festival. The company arranged tourist trips to the source and now anyone can enjoy the unearthly landscape. And what do you think about this phenomenon? Write in the comments. And here is another incredible story. The lack of fresh drinking water on Earth is one of the global issues for humanity. Since the middle of the last century, scientists have been trying to find an answer to it, and it seems that now they are significantly closer to solving this problem. More recently, the geologists of one of the oil companies, not wanting it, made a significant discovery of world significance. As usual, they went on a reconnaissance expedition to search for black gold. This time, they needed to drill pilot wells in the Atlantic Ocean, near the North American continent, and more precisely, off the coast of New England. However, geologists did not find oil, but what they discovered was much more interesting and important for humanity. Samples from the wells suggested that a fresh lake was hidden beneath the ocean. Of course, scientists immediately became interested in this amazing find, because now, more than a billion people do not have full access to drinking water, and this find in the future can help solve this problem. The Ecology of Columbia University equipped an expedition to the shores of New England. 
The task of the research team was to understand how large the supply of fresh water was and to study its origin. According to the results of a search operation in the summer of 2019, scientists at Columbia University published a report accessible to the masses in the journal Scientific Reports. They said their research team used electromagnetic sensors towed behind a research vessel to search for fresh water. Their task was to measure the difference in the conductivity of electricity in water. The fact is that salt water is a much better conductor than fresh, so it's important to find areas with low conductivity. As a result, a freshwater reservoir was discovered, extending from Delaware to Massachusetts and possibly hundreds of miles further north, which has remained untouched since the last ice age. Please note that the aquifer near the coast is indicated by yellow strokes. The triangles represent the lines of sight from the study, and the total volume of the reservoir is at least twice the volume of Lake Ontario, whose area, by the way, is about 25,000 square miles. This is a truly grandiose scientific discovery, which can become a lifeline for the inhabitants of our planet. After all, we all know that the supply of fresh water is not endless, and in regions suffering from drought, for example in Africa, in the Middle East, and even in the southern states of the U.S., the existence of a marine reservoir with fresh water can be a real salvation. That is why the scientific community considers it necessary to conduct a fundamental study of coastal zones and dry coast around the world. The main task is to determine whether the existence of such fresh basins in other places is possible and how they can be used to solve the problem of drinking water in the arid regions of the planet. But where did the fresh water come from under the ocean and in such quantities? About 26 and a half thousand years ago, our planet was covered with ice shields. This was the last glacial maximum. That is, the greatest degree of glaciation of the Earth for the entire ice age. At that time, almost the entire northern part of the United States was covered with giant ice sheets. Since then, the Earth has slowly heated up, glaciers have melted, and large and small lakes have formed on the northern part of the American continent. But what does this have to do with the fresh water mass found by geologists? Scientists claim that during the last ice age, sea level was much lower than the current one, and coastlines were stretched much further than now. Almost the entire land surface in that era was covered with ice crust, and subsequently, when the sea level rose, it went underwater, and nowadays it is hidden under the ocean. Gradually, ice sheets began to melt, fresh water seeped onto the continental shelf and created a huge freshwater pool under the ocean off the coast of New England. This discovery proves once again that we still do not know much about our planet, and perhaps, before setting off to explore other galaxies, we first need to find out about our own planet. And that's all for today. Write in the comments what you think about this find. And don't forget to put like if you like this video. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more.